Okay, a little session here with a winds um, disc detainer type lock. Oops. Put the key in properly. Ta da! Okay, key retaining. Lock it back up. So, the purpose of the video is to really just mess around with this, this little tool here. So, I'm going to try and pick this lock. I'll begin by zeroing the discs. Rotate them all as clockwise as far as I could. Tension tool in. Moderate, light to or moderate tension, I guess. Easing off where necessary. Um, using this finger here. Support that and hold it in place and allow me to make a slight adjustments and hold it. These fingertips to do some work, hopefully. So. Let's begin, which on um, what I think is the first disc, but, uh, so that was all the way anti-clockwise, so I'm going to go back, and it felt loose as I got, as I got to this position here, so I'm going to try and sneak onto the next disc if I can. I think that's it there, so yeah, that's the right as far as it can go. We'll start going anti-clockwise. It's biting pretty hard. So I'm gonna ease off the tension and now it moves. Wasn't sure whether it's set then, so I'm gonna go right through anti-clockwise and come back again clockwise. and it goes loose there again, so we'll leave it at that point. What I think is the next disc. Then I went all the way anti-clockwise and didn't feel anything, so I'll come back the other way, and it felt like a loosened dump there, so next uh, wafer, or disc rather. It's got a habit of calling things wafers when they're not pins. Maybe in that, I don't know. So, Anti-clockwise. Really get anything, come back the other way. I felt something, <laughs> something there, so we'll leave that at that. Um, is that a pin? Falling out the back, hang on. Okay. Clockwise. And we're up in. Raw, raw. That's a little strange and wonderful. But. Mission accomplished, with one of these at least anyway. I'm sure the Abloh is going to be a complete different deal. <laughs> Peace and respect, I'm out.